Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a question from one of my subscribers and here is a problem given that the husband and wife are both heterozygous for recessive allele for albinism. If they have the zygotic twins, the probability that both the twins will be of the same phenotype for pigmentation will be and you have to choose the correct answer. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, basically our pedigree would look as follows. So here is the wife, here is the husband and we expect that they would have the zygotic twins, so we use the sign, but sex is not specified. We don't know the sex, so we would use this sign when sex is not specified and the sex of the children is not important for our calculations. And we know that both wife and husband are heterozygous for this genetic disorder. So genotype would be Let's say the dominant allele would be normal allele and recessive allele would be abnormal allele when it's present in two copies would cause this genetic disorder. So both husband and wife are heterozygous. Their phenotype is normal but they are carriers. So now let's um, build simple Punnett square. If we know that uh, both parents are heterozygous, so one parent heterozygous, another parent heterozygous, then we can calculate probability for their children to be of the certain phenotype. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a small a here. As you see, this family has three quarters probability of having uh, phenotypically uh, normal children and one quarter that the child would be affected. And now uh, here's the problem that the guy who sent me this question encountered he thinks that the correct answer is 1 16th, but he given that correct answer is 5 over 8 and here where he makes a mistake. Uh, basically the question is what is the probability that both twins will have the same phenotype? The question is not about what is the probability that both twins would be affected. In this case we would say probability for the first child to be uh, affected would be one quarter and probability for the second child to be affected also one quarter and probability for both children to be to have affected phenotype would be one sixteenth. But we also have to find probability that both children would be of the same phenotype which is normal and probability would be three quarters multiplied by three quarters and probability would be nine over sixteen. And now uh, we have to find probability that uh, both children would be of the same phenotype. So whether this phenotype or this phenotype. When we can connect two probabilities with the word or, we have to f uh, add these probabilities. So we have to add these probabilities. So probability that uh, this family would have two phenotypically normal children we have found is 9 over 16. And probability that this family would have two affected children is 1 over 16 
we add these two probabilities and we get 10 over 16. And we can say that this is the same as 5 over 8. And this is answer A. Again, uh, when you solve analogous problems, you have to pay attention to the question. For example, today the question was not about probability that both children would be affected. Uh, the question was, what is the probability that they would have the same phenotype? That means they can be both phenotypically normal or can be both uh, phenotypically abnormal. When uh, basically we have a question about two events that uh, would happen simultaneously and we can connect such events with the word and, for example, what is the probability that the first child would be phenotypically normal and second child would be phenotypically normal, then in this case we use uh, multiplication sign. So we have to multiply these two such probabilities in order to find uh, the probability that such events would happen at the same time. And also here we uh, see a uh, multiplication sign because the question is what is the probability that first child and second child would be affected. And here is the joint probability. But uh, when we ask a question what is the probability that uh, Two children would be of the same phenotype, whether both phenotypically normal or both would be uh, of the abnormal phenotype. So when we have to connect two probabilities and we use word or, we have to add these probabilities. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.